Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick tips and tricks video for anybody that wants to upgrade to Windows 10. I did one um, about a month, month and a half ago maybe. Now I want to um, basically give everybody um, the possibilities that are available for upgrading to Windows 10 if you're not there yet. So when last year the free upgrade to Windows 10 ended we knew that there are some loopholes that were still available that you could still use to upgrade to Windows 10. A year later, they are still available. You can upgrade in two ways. Now, I will just say one thing. One of the ways is kind of not that great if you are, you know, not disabled if you are, uh, if you don't have a, a Windows key, Windows 7 or Windows 8 key. You can still upgrade, but you got to use a little loophole that is you have to go on the um, Windows 10 upgrade, free upgrade for people who have or use assistive technologies. That means for people that are disabled. Um, this one I don't necessarily like a lot because um, one of the things that could happen here is that, you know, this is for people that have disabilities. Now, if you are watching this and you have disabilities, you want to move on to Windows 10 take advantage of this. Um, I'll post the links to these pages in the description below the video. You can have a free upgrade to Windows 10. Now the thing is, you got nothing to prove. So if you go through this, anybody can get a free upgrade even if you don't have a key. And of course, you know, some people are a little abusing this uh, side to it. And so, um, you know, be careful because we think that if too many people use this option, maybe uh, they could actually switch this off, which would be bad for people with disabilities. So let's try to keep this, you know, clean. If you are disabled in some way, um, if you use assistive technologies in some way, go here, get your version of Windows 10 for free if you're not upgraded yet. It's available and you'll be able to enjoy Windows 10 free of charge. If you want to upgrade and you've got a computer lying around, or maybe you know, maybe several computers, and you know what? The the beauty the beauty about this, it doesn't have to be the same computer. That's a little tip here. So say you got two computers at home, one has Windows 7, the other one Windows 8, or maybe two Windows 7 machines. Um, whatever the option, what you can do is use the Windows 7 or Windows 8 key to install Windows 10 free of charge when you upgrade. So when you install Windows 10 from this page using the uh, media creation tool, at some point it asks for a key. Enter your Windows 7 or Windows 8 key. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be the same computer. So that's the beauty of this is, for example, you want to install Windows, 7, uh, Windows 10 on one machine. You've got another machine with Windows 7. You can use that other machine's Windows 7 key and it's going to go through on the Windows 10 to upgrade for free. So you don't have to use the same machine and that's kind of a beauty of it. Now you're thinking, well, you know, is this going to end soon or something? Pretty much everybody thinks Microsoft actually left this open intentionally. They wanted people to continue upgrading to Windows 10. So basically they've just not stopped or blocked these options intentionally so that people and you know so that the Windows 10 numbers actually get bigger uh, faster. So uh, both links will be in the description below the video. So if you're disabled get yourself a free upgrade to Windows 10 if you want absolutely uh, free of charge no keys needed nothing. If you have a Windows 7 Windows 8 key why not use that and upgrade for free to Windows 10 um, and it's gonna work. If you uh, enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.